race, but due to some flooding up that way, they haven't been able to get here. So bad luck for uh, for those connections. 3.30, number one Catalyst now into favouritism. It's chopping and changing. It's now number one Catalyst at 3.30. Can't really see what the delay is because we can, we can only see the starter in box one behind the semaphore board. But now the green light's on, so all is good. And the lure's in motion, 280, number one Catalyst. Ready? Racing, Catalyst began okay and is going to spear through and take the lead. Reef Boots was slow in his last. Down the back and Catalyst raced away by a couple of lengths here on Ninja Pacer. Followed there by Gunner Duck who's out wide. Between runners there, Dream Ruler. They're clear of Tardy Seduction, Reef Boots and further back was Wiggle Wags and Prince of Osti, the last one. But in the straight it's all Catalyst and Catalyst wins it nicely. Dream River got home for second. Third then was Ninja Pacer. Fourth in, Gunner Duck. They're followed then by Tardy Seduction. Behind them then came... Um, Wibble Wags, further back then well, Wiggle Wags, further back then was Reef Boots who was one of the last home One Catalyst for Mel Cunio up from the Northern Rivers 270 and 170 7 Dream River, 180 3 Ninja Pacer at 260 173 The 8 Exploding Ace is $9.40 for Peter Rayner and the 9 Running Extra has some admirers, John Paid the trainer uh, going into box three, running extra in the green and white uh, reserve rug and is $7.60. Opening event went the way of number one, Catalyst for Mal Cunio up from the Northern Rivers. Paid $2.70 on Tats Bet. Green light, race two. Ready? Off they go. Cloudland missed it a little bit. Spearing out there was made that way. Takes the early lead from Mr. Elegant up to a close second and Cloudland is third. They're clear of exploding ace. Followed there by Volatile Chef. Well back. She's too hot. Running extra. And the last one is Boxed Lightning. On the turn. Made that way by about a length. Mr. Elegant tries ever so hard. Made that way. Mr. Elegant. Here they come to the wire. Mr. Elegant went home the better. Got up the beat. Made that way. Third home exploding ace. And fourth in then was Cloudland. They were followed by Volatile Chef. She's too hot. Running extra extra and box lightning about the last one home doing the better work in the run home number seven mr elegant for jeff garrick 180 and 190 two made that way 130 a rather fancy number eight exploding ace will get third at two dollars and thirty cents different ball game coming here so if you're on the four you'd like to see a blue rug straight to the front i'm sure and you hope it gets around the turn to the back pretty uh, pretty attractively I went Samara's on air because of the fact that I thought the four was a genuine risk. So I went with the four, with the one rather, Samara's on air, which is showing $4.20. He's trained by Bob Elchin. The four, Cayenne's assassin, now at two ten for Brian Drury. Green light, an intriguing little novice. Set. Racing, or oh, Cayenne's assassin missed it. Fast out there was Samara's on air. Well, we got that part right. Second placing is Chiefs My Dad, followed there by Celtic Colleen, and then came Action Driver, and further back was Harbinger, and then came Snippy Shagon. Ryan's assassin doesn't know where it is, and last of all, Italian Grapper coming around the corner. Samara's on air is nicely clear. The good thing of the day's home. Samara's on air wins by two. Celtic Colleen second, getting up for third. Harbinger at long odds. Then Chiefs My Dad, followed by Action Driver, and then came Snippy Shogun, Italian Grapper. I'll tell you something, it's a big, big leap from Capalabato L. Albion Park and Kyan's assassin has come in last. One Samara's on air. 190 and 130. 190 and 130. It's come right in. Hammered late, $1.90 and $1.60. The numbers are 156. Radio. Ipswich uh, auction final will be run on the night of the Golden Easter Egg Heats. Nips, which have got the semi-finals of the auction this Saturday night, and then the final on April 5, which is the uh, night of the Golden Easter Egg. So there'll be some star-studded greyhound racing on Saturday night, April 5, from Ipswich and Wendy Park. For everybody to savour. OK, green light. Racing more well, made for Ron Camaway Ordinary. Going fast as Lady Flyer takes the lead. May for Ron dashes around the outside though and goes straight past it. Ripper Ninja back to third. Followed there by Summer Senor. Then came Audacious Miss. Well back is Yukai Sheila. Ohms Odyssey and Stubby Cooler the last one. But made for Ron put a gap in them. Raced away. Made for Ron shoots clear. Wins by nine lengths. From the reserves, Ripper Ninja and Lady Flyer. Then came Audacious Miss in fourth, placing Yukai Sheila behind those. Further astern then we had Stubby Cooler in company there with Ohm's Odyssey and also Summer Senor just being picked up by an attendant here um, past the winning post. Well, dwelt at the start, but by golly, showed a tremendous turn of foot to get around the leading pack and uh, shoot to the front down the back. 
And eight foot made for Ron's come away to win by about nine lengths. Okie doke. Certainly are. Thank you, Andrew. 4.10 about number one, Diamond Chisel. 3.10 about number eight, Lady Shanina is the uh, Tats bet favourite. Both reserves have got the start here. In the previous race, uh, the 10 ran second and the 9 ran third. They did well. Green lights on. Ready. Racing and out in the centre there, Spring Court began fast but punching up underneath it is Diamond Chisel and Diamond Chisel by a length. Spring Court is second, they race right away. Ticks Man, the 10 dog, went through to third, followed by Hannah's uh, Angle and then came Bridgewater and further back was Tosho Khan as heads a turn for home. Wong Sai Susie well out of it. The leader is Diamond Chisel near home coming away. Diamond Chisel beat Spring Court and Ticks Man, fourth in Hannah's Angle. Then came Bridgewater. Further back then was uh, Spring Court, Wong Sai Susie and Lady Shanina. She's come in just passing the winning post now. One diamond chisel for John Edwards. Four ten and one fifty. Three spring court two dollars. Ten ticks men three thirty. One three and ten. Twenty three oh two the time. Again drawn box number four like that one earlier on. It's no easy task. Three thirty about number four Cindy's special for Bill Elson. We've had five races today over the uh, three ninety five. The winning boxes have been one, seven, one, eight, and one. So that tells you something. It's difficult from the middle here. So no, green light. Ready? Racing and Zulu Khan begins brilliantly. Favourite Cindy Special in trouble. Down the back and Senorita Rapido got the run through to take the lead from Tuscany Sally Black as Soot. Then came Just Ditchin and further back was Zulu Khan. Well back is Cindy Special, not negotiable. And Legend Tycoon is the last one. Homeward bound though. Senorita Rapido does it well. And Senorita Rapido has beaten Tuscany Sally. Black as Soot third. Just Ditchin fourth. Cindy Special fifth. Behind them, Zulu Khan, and then Knock Negotial, and last of all is Legend Tycoon. Yeah, there you go. It's hard to win from the middle, isn't it? Two Senorita Rapido, seven fifty and two dollars. Five Tuscany Sally, a dollar ninety. One Black as Soot, three dollars ninety, and the six got fourth. Just itch. The trainers couldn't get here due to flooding. Plenty of rain around the southeast corner of the state. In the main, it's been most uh, most welcome. If it had gone further west, it would have been better, but we'll take what we can get. Right, 240, number four, Senor's Mistress is the Tats bet favourite ahead of number eight, Ideal, at $3.30. Senor's Mistress trained by Jim Conlon, Ideal by Cole Byers. Green light, ready to go. Off now. Over near the inside, Faithful Mustang out well. Have a look at Ideal. Burn across from the eight and go to the lead into the first turn. Ideal got away from Arabian Oracle and Senor's Mistress goes to third. They're followed then by Ellie's Flash, who's fourth. Further astern then, Faithful Mustang and Crimson Tide. Second last, Obama Lass and So Swanky sees them all coming off the back. And we've got Arabian Oracle moving up on the outside of Ideal to take the lead. Senor's Mistress continues to run on well down the outside. Here's a good go, Senor's Mistress and Ellie's Flash up on the fence. Ellie's Flash! Little Ellie's Flash on the fence has beaten Senor's Mistress, I reckon, a whisker. Third, probably ideal in front of Arabian Oracle and Faithful Mustang. Not much in that, though. Then came Crimson Tide, Obama, Lass, and so swanky. I reckon the little one on the inside, you can hardly see her, but she's probably got her nose in front. Ellie's right on the wire. Yeah, it'll be six. Unless you looked really hard, you, wouldn't, you couldn't see her there. She's so tiny, overpowered by Senor's Mistress. But six has got it. Ellie's Flash to give John and Lil Edwards a double. Right here. Forward they come at the 395 metre mark. This will be the distance for races 8, 9 and 10. Radio Andrew, they're being trapped over there at the 395 metre mark behind the semaphore board. And three, Tiny Wong Wei. $3.80 for Cynthia Suttle is our Tats bet favourite. Ready to go. Last leg of the quaddy. Off. Out in the middle there, Hara's Nikki began well, but there's Tiny Wong Wei spears through, and Tiny Wong Wei takes the lead from Hot Shamrock and Hara's Nikki. Then came uh, Springberry Jet, and further back was Hollywood Hearts. Well back, Birkdale Beauty, Bully Blue Boy, and Mr. Stocks is the last one. Titan Compact on the turn. Hot Shamrock is the leader. Down the outside's Tiny Wong Wei again, but Hot Shamrock kicking. Hot Shamrock beat Tiny Wong Wei and Springberry Jet. Birkdale Beauty clocked in fourth. Behind these, Hollywood Hearts, Bully Blue Boy, Mr. Stocks, and Hara's Nikki, one of the last. One hot shamrock, two ninety and a dollar. So the quaddy becomes one, two, six, and one. Two ninety and a dollar hot shamrock. 
Tiny Wong Wai, number three at 2.40, and number four, Springberry Jet, 3.50. Fourth there will go to the seven. There it is now, seven fourth, Birkdale Beauty. And uh, 2.10 now, about number one, Red Rum. $4 a second pick, Murray Field, number one, uh, number two, rather, for Sandra Hunt. And then the six, Cover, $9.20. Okay, they're coming in at the 395 metre mark. Red Rum, box one, $2.10. Murray Field, box two at $4. Green light is on. Albion race nine. Off they go. Red Rum jumped out okay, but well, you know, speared through. Red Rum got a bit of a check there and getting now through was Murrayfield. So Murrayfield takes the lead from well, you know, and Red Rum and on its outside then was Yorkley Anthony. They're clear of Bit Hot Rusty and further back then came TJ Sniper and then came Made at Millions and well back uh, is the other one, Yorkley Anthony. But up the straight, Murrayfield is clear and Murrayfield has won from either Bit Hot Rusty on the outside or Yorkley Anthony with well, you know, not terribly far away. Then Red Rum, they were followed by Made at Millions, Cubber was always back in the field and TJ Sniper won of the last home. Two Murrayfield for Sandra Hunt at 2.40 and 1.40. You've got three Yorkley Anthony likely to hold second on that and four bit hot rusty. Two on a photo between three and four. Very close for second, the judge yet to make uh, her decision. Two and a photo between three and four in 23 points for Rod Lee up from Grafton. $1.50, Greyhound five. Not easy from a centre draw at this starting point. However, boxes one and six are vacant. Green light, race 10, Twilights. Racing. Lost Garbos away only fairly. It's back fifth. Going quickly there was Senor Beach, tackled by New Gold Dream, who hits the lead. Then came Yukai Princess and Shaken Shakira. Lost Garbos back second last, and He's a Hunter is the last one coming off the back. New Gold Dream assumes control and is going well. Lost Garbos with a big sweep down the outside, but New Gold Dream got away. New Gold Dream beat Lost Garbos third. Yukai Princess fourth. Shaken Shakira. He's a Hunter was fifth. And sixth and last, Senor Beach. Look at this, in a field of six, $54.30 and twelve twenty. Number three, New Gold Dream. Well, Bob Elton trained at Quinella earlier on in the day, so he's had a big day. Hope he played up some of the winnings earlier on on this. $54.30 and twelve twenty in a field of six.